right, guys, welcome to Art with Val. Thanks for joining me. Um, today, um, it's time for me to mix up some um, pillow paint or, you know, my base paint um, and some pouring medium. And so I thought I would share um, with you what I do. And I know that there's a lot of videos um, out there a lot of great artists who are, um, you know, sharing, thank goodness, um, what they do. And, um, you know, eventually we all come up with our own thing, right? So, um, but I do need to say that after watching a lot of videos and doing a lot of my own um, experimenting, um, my... Um, recipe is similar to that of um, Molly's or Molly's artistry. So um, I've made a couple of changes um, really just due uh, to the cost. You know, I want to keep my cost down and um, but I really like what I'm using right now. Um, so I wanted to share that and I also wanted to um, just say, you know, there's Again, if you're you're just starting out or um, uh, cost is an issue, um, just stick with uh, Floetrol uh, and water or, you know, glue and water. Um, you don't have to do these other things. Um, and then if, you know, later um, you want to, you know, which is where I'm at, um, and then you can, you can kind of, you know, experiment and find... Um, your own way so um just want to make sure that you know i make it clear that i'm not saying that, that this is what you should do this is just um what i do and if you're at a point right now where you know you're looking for something new or whatever i appreciate um the other artists that i can watch and then uh, i'll try it you know their way and then uh, I might make little tweaks to that or just do something completely different. And I, and I think we're all um, similar in that regard. So um, that said, I'm gonna start with making um, the pillow paint. And I am using, let's see here if I can, um, uh, uh, Color Place um, Paint and Primer. Um, this is a satin and I get a satin on purpose because um, that way I feel like I don't need to add um, an extra like um, uh, gloss varnish um, like this the Liquitex gloss varnish uh, I know there's um, some other types in fact I know um, Molly uh, will use something uh, different too in that regard but for me to keep the cost down um, I don't feel like I need that. So um, we'll start with the paint and um, my recipe, um, with just the amount that I mix at one time is four cups of paint. As far as the paint, um, you know, you can use any. Um, I, and I'll tell you that uh, I would prefer the Valspar but um, my local Home Depot did not have it. They also don't carry this, go figure. So anyway, um, but this is my second gallon of this and I'm really liking it uh, and, and it's cheaper. So, I mean, this, I think it was $18 or something, um, but it's very good, does the trick. So I've pre-measured just to kind of save us time and I'll just use a big picture, you know, I got at the dollar store and then um, I will like break it down, put it in smaller things, um, make it easier to use. Um, so we'll just get the paint in there. This is four cups of my paint. And let me 
just get this out of the way now. All right, and then I use the Liquitex um, pouring medium. You can see that. And um, I just use a quarter cup of that. Um, again, uh, a little different um, than what um, I'm sure uh, even, even Molly does, but um, I like to keep my cost down and I don't think that um, I need that much. I mean, if cost wasn't a factor, I would definitely copy her though. I will tell you that. Um, but I use less and I'm getting, um, some great results. So I am totally okay with this, uh, for now. Um, I don't know if you need to do this, but I will stir after adding each, um, item. least a little bit. All right, so we'll get this one out of the way. Next is the Floatrol. Um, and I and I will put this description uh, in the um, in the video. Um, two and a half cups of Floatrol I will put to this um, particular mix. And I want to show you, you know, there's a lot of, um, you can use a strainer, uh, a lot of people do. You can use the pantyhose. Um, I wanted to show you, you know, I go through a lot of flow trial. Get this off. So I invested in this cap. See that? A strainer cap um, that you can get on uh, Amazon. It, um, I'm not sure about the smaller bottles, but I always buy flow trial by the gallon. So it fits on here. And then the regular cap just goes over that. Um, and so I can pour right out of um, this gallon container and I don't have to worry about straining. A one-time purchase, well worth it for me. I believe it was $12. So it's just what I do. Um, I have, I did shake this, but shake your Floetrol um, also. So two and a half cups. I'll just get that going. I should have pre-poured that for us, huh? It's pretty quick. Come on, almost there. There's our float trowel. So we'll get that in there. And just mix that a little bit. And our next ingredient is the GAC 800, which um, you may or may not know is a bit expensive. Um, so I use um, a little less than that. I just want some in here because, um, you know, it helps to prevent cracking. Um, and which I have actually never had a problem with, but I don't want to. <laughs> So it's important, but um, I only use about a quarter of a cup. So um, I may need to be using more of that, um, but um, I've not had a problem with any cracking, so I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna use it sparingly. <laughs> Good stuff though. All right, so the only other thing is water. And um, 
you know, it's hard to give you a measurement because um, it's going to be based on, you know, your, your consistency. And um, let me show you this, what it is right now. So it's going right back in. Um, there's no mound, but um, I can tell just from the consistency that um, I need it a bit thinner for my, my base. So I'm going to add some water. Um, if I were measuring, I guess a place to start is 40 mils. So I will put that in the, um, in the description, but, um, just know, uh, you, you depending on the type of paint that you're using, um, you may need to uh, add more. And normally, I would make a much bigger um, batch of this, but I ran out of the GAC 800. So, to use all of the water. So I also wanted to point out that if um, you're doing a bloom or something, now I personally um, will not add um, any oh, any polycrylic or um, anything like that to this, um, I would do that based on, yeah, actually it would be rare in my, in my base paint um, for me to do that. But I would wait to do that um, and only add it to the paint that I needed for that particular piece. So if you, I mean, if you were doing a bloom or something and you wanted to add that to your um, base paint, um, I wait. Okay. So I think that, let me see here, I can show you. That is pretty good for now. I think, uh, I always check it too. Um, before I do a piece. And if I need to add some, um, if I feel like I need to add a bit more water, I will do it at that time. All right, so that is the pill paint. Um, or at least my pill paint. Um, and now I just wanted to share um, my recipe for um, a regular pour, um, which is um, I usually do because I use a couple of different um, recipes um, depending on what I'm doing. So let's get some air in this baby. Um, so we need two cups. Wow, I use the big one. That one doesn't look real clean for some reason. It's got some dust in it. Um, so two cups of the Floatrol. I must have changed my pouring medium so many times. And um, I have to say again, thanks to Molly. Um, and even though 
Um, mine's a bit different, just a bit. Um, I'm very happy with this. And that's why I wanted to share it. So two cups of full chocolate. Into our all right, we have our flow troll, um, and then, um, the uh. The Liquitex Gloss Varnish, okay, one cup. Let me just pour it in, that'll be better. that in. Next um, is the, uh, oh, excuse me, um, the GAC 800. And um, I usually put one um, about one and a half cups. So I've got that here. And that is it. Now, the only thing um, I would add to this, hmm, well, maybe there's a couple things. If I'm using silicone, and I also learned this from Molly, um, is that you want to have glue all in here as well. Um, and if you watch her video on, you know, mixing this, um, she really goes into detail and explains why. But I can tell you, when I saw that video, I immediately went to my studio and I did a comparison with and without. And she's right. So, um, I, I don't make up. Uh, that ahead of time because I don't use silicone a lot, um, at least not right now. Uh, so what I would do differently, um, same, let's see, same amounts, but um, I would add two cups of the glue all. So two cups of Floetrol, two cups glue all, um, a cup of the Liquitex gloss, um, and a half a cup of GAC 800. Okay, so that's for if you're using silicone. I'll put all of that um, in the video and the description. Um, and uh, I will um, be uh, doing some pieces, you know, moving forward. Um, with these and you know point that out so that you know if you haven't tried it yet you're wondering um i can show you you know i went from this to this when i changed um uh, to this pillow paint and this pouring medium um if i am doing oh um if i'm practicing a technique or um, checking out some colors, uh, anything like that. I'm just going to use Floetrol and water. Um, but um, for 
I'll use this for anything else, um, except for when I'm using silicone. Thanks to Molly. So uh, that's it. Um, I hope that, you know, I helped um, and uh, you, you know, experiment with some of this stuff. I know that you'll come up with your own way too, but I know for me, starting out, um, I needed to do exactly what someone else did um, as a starting point. And um, that's how I got here. So um, the other thing I wanted to let you know is that if you're not doing it already, keep a notebook. Um, this is mine. Good juju. I love this because um, I keep my recipes in here and I can note um, what pieces uh, that I don't like it for or do like it for or what adjustments that I made and why um, I track um, my pieces in here, colors used, you know, pouring medium used, um, everything so that I can not only recreate it if I wanted to, but um, also uh, to improve. Um, maybe there's a color in there I didn't like or um, whatever the case may be, this will help you um, with all of that. I will keep, uh, I use it for resin too. Um, my resin molds, for example, uh, I take a measuring cup and I will fill the mold um, with water and then I will pour that into the measuring cup and then I know exactly how much resin I need so just a tip there for you but all of all of those this is this is like my my art bible <laughs> so anyway I, I know it takes a little extra time and when I first started I thought I don't need to do that yeah you do need to do that oops and I just got paint on it um Anyway, I hope that this helped, um, and yeah, I'll put everything um, in the video and in the description, and uh, you know, let me know if you try it, what you think, or if you think mine is missing something, let me know what it is and, and, and why, and I will try it and uh, make a video of it. Um, so that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for joining me, and I hope you're all having a great day. Cheers.